everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with Watercolor Wednesday and I was having trouble with my video so I did a couple of things. I cut out some clips and it didn't seem to do it if I was time speed times two. So that means the first part of the video is really slow but I thought it was either that or I wasn't going to show it at all. So the first part that you missed out was I was showing you what kind of watercolors they are. They're Dr. P.H. Martin and they're called Hydrus, H-I-D-R-U-S. And they come in 36 colors up to now. I think they had pack one, two, and three. I ended up buying them in mostly the half ounce um, size, I guess, because... For me to buy them on Amazon, it was absolutely ridiculous. I could only get it on Amazon.com, which is the American one. And shipping was ridiculous or they wouldn't ship it at all to Canada. So I found a place in Canada that sells them. It's curries.com and it's in Ontario. And all they had was uh, the half inch or the half inch, the half ounce, except for that orange one that you see there. They sent me a one ounce for the price of a half ounce. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, so I have almost all the colors. I'm waiting on some more. They should be getting here um, today or tomorrow. Anyway, so what I did was I had cut out a heart for a previous kit or a previous page and I kept it around because I thought, you know, I might want to use that someday. So I used it this time. I used my uh, Stedler marker and I just outlined the heart once so that I have like a pattern. And then the other two times I just kind of went messily around so that it kind of gives me a messy heart. And now I'm taking drops of this hydrus. And what I did was um, they're all numbered. They all have names, but they're all numbered from 1 to 36. And I only took the numbers from 1 to 12, which I have some numbers missing. Um, I just took, I have three or four missing out of the first 12. So I just took the colors that were, you know, that I had. And they're very primary colors, very bright. Now, some of them are not primary colors, but very bright colors. And then I went into my cupboard and I found these straws. And I took a really, really small one and a big one. And I have to say the small one worked better. And second of all, I want to apologize for my head being in the way. But you have to get right over the drop and blow directly over top. And it does the spider like I'm showing you now. And uh, it didn't dawn on me till, you know, almost at the end that, hey, maybe bring the paper up to you and then, you know, blow on it and then they can see what's going on. So uh, one good thing is... I don't seem to have any white hair <laughs> so that's that's good gray hair no gray hair and um, so that was because I don't get to see the back of my head right so anyway so that was fun and I didn't mind you know whether the um, watercolor went beyond the marked heart I was okay with that I just like that splattery bright colors and I have to say, at this point, that is where my idea ended. And I didn't mind that the colors went one above the other. I tried to dry them in between, just using my roll of paper towel and just kind of soaking up the excess. And I had no idea what picture I was going to do. So what I did once I was that, I just turned off the camera. And this is hours later. I think at that point we had had our turkey dinner for because in Canada on Monday the thir 13th, the 12th, the 12th, we had, uh, it was Thanksgiving and so we had had our turkey dinner and everybody had gone home and I went upstairs and I was looking at the, you know, the heart and all the kind of splatters and I thought that really reminds me of when we took Mason to the park this summer. And they have these water spouts coming out of the ground and they have these water guns that they can spray each other. They kind of reminded me of that. And when I looked at the pictures of Mason, he was wearing a orange and white t-shirt. And those t-shirts, by the way, are pretty awesome. They have 50 SPF, like it's putting, it's like putting 50 like sunscreen 
on them so I got him a couple of those for this summer and I told my daughter still put sunscreen on but it's like double protection so they're awesome so I'm going to be looking for those again next summer because he loves the water now I went into my stash and I found this super old collection from Echo Park it's called Splash I looked for the date and it's 2011 so this is going to be five years old and the colors were perfect I just love that they were bright and primary and it kind of reminded me you know of the background that I just did and I'm going to use a couple of things that it's not necessarily related to what he's doing here like I love swimming and staying cool in the pool the title is actually going to be another sticker that I'm going to bring in a little later just add water because basically for him like just and that's what my journaling is going to be about is just add water whether it's in the bath or in the pool or you know like swimming or running around at the water park thingy <laughs> here at Centennial Park the kid loves water and uh, so that's what I'm going to talk about is is love of water so just add water is really the title and now I'm just uh I took a piece of cardstock from my stash. Everything from here is my stash. And that's what I love about Watercolor Wednesdays is everything is from my stash. I'm digging into some old stuff. I'm going to be bringing in some newer stuff with it. So that's always fun. And that cardstock is at least 15 years old. And it's navy with white polka dots. So it works out perfect. I'm going to mount, I'm going to cut my um, white cardstock to about 11 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters I'm going to mount the whole thing on that so it really grounds that background then I had mounted my photo in the middle and I left the cardstock overhanging a little bit and that's usually that's where I do my journaling or part of my titling and this time it's just part of my titling these what I'm gluing right now it was a pattern paper from that same collection from echo park splash and it had borders of fish on it or it was a pattern paper of fish and you could cut it into little strips so i cut one strip off and i'm going to put it at the top and bottom that I, lo I love swimming and that i love swimming came from a sheet that was all borders and i cut that out and i just made it fit right underneath my photo Right next to it is a 3x4 card that had a, a ball on it and I didn't didn't mind it but the staying cool in the pool I didn't like the border that was around it was kind of scallopy and I wanted something uh, I didn't like the scallop for this page so I just cut the scallop and I'm just going to use the oval and I'm going to put it right over top that card and I'm going to do something else to that card that it's going to make it so that it looks like you know the card was kind of made that way now I like the way everything looks so I'm going to start gluing everything down I'm bringing some puffy stickers from my stash and that's a little old, newer it uh, may be two years old and it's from twine and ink and which is a division of studio calico and there's little hearts and asterisks and I'm going to put those on A few places on the layout just above the card and next to the word pool and then next to the word swimming now these are super new they're from Amy Tangerine and from her newest collection finders keepers yes finders keepers and so that's you know fun to bring in some newer stuff with some older stuff and these are rub-ons and I'm going to put them at the top and the bottom of right there right underneath the word pool and above the word stain and then it looks like I stitch on that card and it makes the card looks like it belongs more together and I really like that and then I'm going to use some other stuff from the rub-on sheet I'm going to use um the circle that looks like a splotch and I'm going to make another cluster at the bottom left of the layout here in a minute 
and these rub-ons work really well and I don't know um, I know like a lot of people are having trouble with their rub-ons and you know they say that um, rub-ons have a life expectancy uh, I think it's maybe the way they're made because I have rub-ons that I have had literally in my stash for 15 years. I have alpha rub-ons, you know, all kinds of rub-ons and I take them out and they work like charm, like a charm, like they still rub on really nice. So I don't know if it's the quality. I don't know if way back when they made better quality stuff. I don't know, but because they still work. And, uh, but the newer stuff, they seem to work better if you use them faster. So just be aware of that, that the newer stuff doesn't seem to have a good life expectancy compared to rub-ons from years ago. But anyway, just a little sideline here. Uh, yes, now I'm going to work on that bottom cluster. At first, I'm going to think, I think I'm going to use that blue pattern paper, I'm going to switch it out with a strip of red pattern paper from pattern paper from the Echo Park Splash Collection just because I want to bring some more red to the bottom cluster because that card that uh, the staying cool in the pool is quite big and um, then the other only other red thing is the heart and I'm going to fix that too by Right under swimming, I got two asterisks and a heart, and I'm going to switch one of those out with the red asterisk because I want to bring some more red to that side of the layout. I mean, this page is multicolored, you know, no doubt about it. There is tons of color, but in the embellishments, I did uh, use a lot of red and then some of the blues. Oh yes, and then now I'm using, in that bottom cluster, I'm using that red splotch and then I use those little diamonds and I know they're not like round, <laughs> they're diamonds, but to me they reminded me of like um, bubbles in the water because I'm going to put a fish right underneath. So that's where my head was at. I was like, oh, little bubbles for, you know, fish. And now I'm going to take some of the fish on that sticker sheet from Echo Park Splash. And I'm going to put them on um, the layout. And I know really this is nothing to do about fishing or anything like that. But to me, it's like, you know, he's like a fish. He loves water like a fish. So that's where... Um, my thought process was going and now I'm going to take another little rub on and it's like little curly cues I guess and um, I'm just going to rub that on and then I'm going to add a few fish and just a little word, uh, word of warning uh, there's no pictures at the end of this because I had so many issues with this video. I, I don't even know if this is going to go up on Wednesday. Uh, that's how many issues I've been having. So I didn't have time to take pictures. But the good news is uh, my blog is going to be, my new blog is going to be activated this week. And that'll be the first thing that I put on my blog is this video. And I'm going to have some pictures of the layout there. So, you know, um, Make sure to check out the new blog. Um, when the new blog becomes activated, I'll put the link in this video also of the new blog and then you can go check it out. But it'll also be on my YouTube channel and it'll be, you know, from the day the blog starts on every video after that, the video, the blog will be on there. And uh, I'm just inking the edges of all the fish and I'm just going to add three fish, a couple of blue ones and a yellow one. And I'm going to put the yellow one at the top just to kind of go with that just add water. And that's going to be, like I said, the title of my page because it's going to go really well with um, the journaling on this page. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.